Hi, and welcome to Lesson 7. It's just me today, getting romantic with my audience. Last time we talked about backlinking and the importance of getting the message out. More than likely, if you're watching this just a day later, you really haven't gotten much traffic to your site. That's okay. It's not going to happen right away. You want to continue to read about your audience, write about your audience on your post and backlink. But you're going to start getting a handful of people trickling in, and so we want to think about what we want them to do when they're on the page. Now, you've already selected your action message, and so you have to think about what it is that you are going to say in order to get them to do that action message. It's just like romance. You don't talk about yourself. You don't talk about the benefit you're going to have by being in a relationship with this person. You talk about them. You talk about what they want. You talk about what they're going to get. That's how you romance somebody. And in your action message, whether it be an email or a purchase or something else, always make sure you give them what they want. You've decided to put a direct sales offer on your site. Now, you might have a product of your own. We're not actually showing you how to set up an entire checkout system with that. But we will send you an email with a link to a great uh, shopping cart, in case you're curious, that we recommend called Premium Web Carts. Uh, so look for that in the email, though we're not going to show you how to set it up. It's a bit more complicated, so it's not for this video series, but they have tons of videos on how to set that up if you're really interested in using, using your own product. If you don't, it's not a problem. Use Amazon. The first thing you need to do is join now. We're not going to show you in this video the exact steps to go through the sign-up process. You will eventually need a bank account so that when you make money, they can send it somewhere. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, and you're going to have to disclose your Social Security number if you're in the United States so that they can also send you a 1099 at the end of the year for all of the millions of dollars you're going to earn. Uh, so go ahead and sign up. Not, neither one of those things you need right away, so you can come back and uh, put it in later, but they won't pay you until you do, so keep that in mind. So we just signed up, and we actually have an alert. This doesn't always show up, but occasionally it does. They're talking about some new update to the Kindle. I'm not interested in putting the Kindle on our site because it's nothing to do with meditation, so I'm going to look for something a little bit more close. So I'm going to go to Links and Product Banners and click on Product Links. From here, I can search for products that might be associated with meditation. Look at that, tons of stuff. So generally, when I put a, something up on my site, I don't like it to be too expensive because I worry that the price point is going to mess with my conversion data. So to start with, I try to keep it under $20. Now, it could be that you actually have an audience that has a very low sensitivity to price. So it is worth it, once you have volume, to start switching out some products. See which ones gives you the best results. But to start with, until you get the volume, that's not useless because the data volume won't be enough to get accurate statistics. So for now, I'm just going to rule of thumb, keep it under $20. So here we see something that looks quite nice. Um, the 8 med Meditation Quiet Your Mind. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the site. Since I'm logged into the account, I have this nice little widget at the top that I normally don't have. I'm going to have to click on link to this page, and then I want to have a text and image. I like it because it gives both a look and information about the actual product. Your background colors you can choose in order to uh, make it look a bit like your site. Remember, informative sites are more valuable to customers than perfectly looking sites with the exception of a handful of industries. So don't freak out if you don't get this perfect. It'll probably be fine, but you know, get it pretty close. I always like to open the link in a new window. That way they can come back to your site. I'm not going to show the border. And I'm going to keep the image kind of smaller so it fits in my site a little bit better. That's up to you and your theme. And then simply take this little code. Actually, I can even just highlight HTML. 
and copy it. Now I'm going to go to my site on WordPress Direct. And in, I'm going into ads and banners, and in it, I'm going to add a title. We recommend and the code from Amazon. Be careful. I almost did this. Don't type it directly into here because it's not actual something that you want to display. It's HTML. So you want to click on the little HTML button and type it into the HTML editor. Click update and save sale offer. So we go into the site now, and here is our beautiful little sales letter. Unfortunately, I actually think the book melds in with the background here, which I'm not a big fan of. So um, for that reason, I'm going to pick a different product. Hang tight. So I picked a different product. Like I said, when it comes to look and feel, it's not a huge deal, but I had a hard time even picking up the, what it was that I was selling there. So, eh, you know, a minimum amount is good. So we like this much better, so we're going to go with it. And the nice thing is, if anybody clicks on that and buys anything from Amazon, you get credited. So now you know how to get your audience to be attracted to your action message. Time to go do it yourself. Cheers.